Joining forces, police and clubs work together to kick homophobia out of football. It's a hate crime taking place on football terraces and pitches up and down the country. In fact, in a recent report, 70% of fans said they'd heard anti-gay abuse at matches. Now, one of our police forces has linked up with local football clubs to try and raise awareness and education to tackle the issue, as Anna Todd reports. Rainbow colours of Hertfordshire football. Teams across the county joining together against homophobia in the beautiful game. Really upsetting for, for people. Um, it, it doesn't have a place in football at all. It shouldn't be there and every person has a right to play football and not be abused because of who they are. I think people are probably afraid to come out and, and say because they're scared of what, what other my fans and other players might, might feel about it. But I, I personally believe that it doesn't matter you know, what, what you believe in. I think it's good that we're, we're coming together to try and stamp it out um, and, and I hope that in the long run you know, things do, do improve. As a referee, Mel Harrington-Smith has been on the receiving end of abuse. I've had issues uh, with males, uh, not liking my decisions in a game and using my sexuality as a negative um, and I've had that, that abuse thrown at me personally and people have heard it on the sideline as well, so not good really. And how does that make you feel? Because they're really targeting something very personal. Very angry, very upset, because uh, things like that shouldn't happen nowadays. Hertfordshire police have seen a rise in homophobic incidents at football matches in recent years. More people are coming forward to report crimes, from spitting to physical attacks. No one should be subjected to these types of incidents um, and we want people to, to understand that we will deal with these um, robustly, these reports robustly and sensitively um, and we want to work hard uh, with the FA and with the clubs to, to stamp out homophobia in football. It's not going to happen overnight and it's going to take another couple of generations maybe, um, like it's a historical thing I think um, and through education and making sure that people are aware of that it is a hate crime and it's not accepted uh, through the FA, the clubs and the police, then I think that's the way forward there. Police, the FA and clubs will be keeping up the pressure at football matches across Hertfordshire. The message, homophobia, will not be tolerated. Anna Todd, BBC Look East, Stevenage Football Club. Earlier, I spoke to George Wells, Chief Executive of the FA in Hertfordshire, and started by asking him how serious the problem really is. Well, today's a real good opportunity that we've had uh, at Hertfordshire FA. We've worked closely with Hertfordshire Constabulary uh, to promote LGBT History Month. And uh, obviously there, there is discrimination in the game across all, all formats. And today we were raising awareness of how you go about reporting that. And you're raising awareness today, but what more can be done to tackle homophobia in football? I think football provides you with that unique opportunity to get a cross-section of so many different people. We have around 35,000 players in Hertfordshire across you know, grassroots through to a professional game and it's a great opportunity to speak with such a diverse community and raise awareness of the issue. How easy is it really to identify offenders and be able to bring prosecutions? First of all we need people willing to come forward and, and um, make us aware of such instances which is why we work with uh, companies such as uh, Kick It Out who have an application that you can use to report discrimination. It, it's very difficult if we're not made aware of it, it's hard for us to tackle but we know that it's taken place across football. It has improved massively over the last five years and we're doing our part along with all of the other county FAs across the country and the FA to tackle this uh, problem. And obviously what you're doing here today, you're, you're one region, you're one county, are you hoping that this can be rolled out elsewhere? We just want to make sure that people feel comfortable being involved in football, whether it's playing or administrating. Uh, I've played and coached and I'm, I'm now obviously working in a senior manager role at, at the association. And it's important that everyone feels comfortable to be involved and welcome into the game.